What's that? How long have you had this big guy? I thought I showed you this when I first got it. Uh, maybe eight months or so. Because well, John uses the other truck now. Well, one good thing about everyone working from home is for people like me, there's no traffic on the roads really. Which I don't know, if you can work from home, why don't you just do that year round? It doesn't make sense to, if you have a computer at home and then you drive an hour away to go sit at another computer, I don't know. If I could install crown molding in your house from my house, I'd do it. So here's the room we're gonna be working on for the next two days. We'll take that ceiling fan out. As you can see, it has a two-piece crown buildup on there already. So what we'll do in this case is we'll pop that first piece off, that crown, the bottom piece as a base. We'll pop that off, do our thing to the ceiling, and we'll just put a new piece of crown that's the exact same match as that back on. And it'll come down about three quarters more, so it'll look the same. So we're not even gonna bother removing that base. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be right in the way right here. So what happens with these, we usually just get rid of those. No one ever uses them anyways. We just cut the wires and shove them back up. But uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. But the vent obviously has to stay. What? What? Are we on the same one? Right here, on this point. Yeah, no. Ready? Yeah. Like that one time we were on different ones and it was like a slanted angle. It's like, dang, that's a weird joist. Tack these little strips in. These are inch and three quarter spacer blocks. I'm just gonna tack those in around the room. So now that we have our spacer blocks up there, we put three on each wall. So we can just push our perimeter board up against those and it'll be set for the crown. And that's the next step is to get that perimeter board measured and cut. And what I'm thinking is we'll probably just measure from spacer block to spacer block because I put them in the corners and they'll just be flush cut joints in the corners. And then I have a crazy idea that might work. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So we'll go ahead and take some measurements. We'll go 139 and 7 eighths. All right, so we're gonna do something we haven't done before. We're gonna try to pocket hold this whole thing together. I don't know if it's gonna work. It should, I don't see why not but we're gonna give it a shot and I think that'll make it easier. Definitely ensure these joints won't separate over time. Oh yeah, that stuff's easy. Even this is pretty easy. This is just a new thing, so it's kind of weird. Oh, the shutters. Yeah, we're going to have to tilt it up that way, right? It's going to work? Yeah, it'll work. Well, I'm glad I tied this down while we're inside. This thing wants to lift off and go up into the sky. It's crazy, man. It pulled the saw that way. It just wants to rip off right here. It really wants to go. We need to take this down. There we go. So this is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna cut these down to that inside measurement of those existing, that existing rectangle that we made, and then we'll pocket hole it together. We're getting a little bit of a drizzle out here, but thankfully we can work in that garage and we can carry our materials in this drop cloth. And it's not a long walk, so we should be good. This your joint pine does not like moisture. It will absorb it like a sponge. So I'm gonna line it right there on my X. You can see my X and my two lines. I'll just line it up right there. And then do the same thing on the other side. I've got to pocket hold this first and then glue it and everything like that.
Yeah, it's going to work. So with that, we'll keep going and then just put the boards across in the middle section here. We'll need six, one, two, three, yeah, six of them. So we got the unit pocket hole together and we're going to try to go ahead and install it now. It did get quite a bit heavier as we were, you know, putting this thing together. And I think the biggest thing is just, just going to be awkward for two guys. If we had two more people, this would be no problem at all. But let's go ahead and get this up here or watch it fall down and the last two hours of our lives be wasted. I just need this right by me so I can grab it and jam it up there. Okay. Well, it's uh, almost up there. We want to make sure it's squared up with our spacer blocks, then we're going to shoot it. That was a little intense. I don't really recommend it, guys, but um, it worked out. So we'll get this thing squared up and shot. So we kind of lucked out on this. Every board hits a joist. Sometimes on these that are kind of out in the open, sometimes you'll miss it because you know with these you're going to hit them because our joists run this way. So we know with the boards that go perpendicular to that, we're going to hit them for sure. But the ones that are parallel with the joists, it's kind of hit or miss. But these all, these two were perfectly lined up. So we're good on that. We don't need to put any adhesives on this. As long as we hit those joists, we're good. We will need to put adhesive on our tempered hardboard and we're going to do that next. These panels are about 38 by 38. So we'll probably cut them to 37 and three quarters by 37 and three quarters. They don't need to be exactly perfect because we're gonna have a panel molding that'll hide that small gap and that way we don't have to sit there and fight with it trying to make it a perfect fit. Got this new little centipede thing from Bora. A nice little throw down table, stretch it out. And I'm going to try to use this for cutting stuff on the track saw. It has these hold downs and then it has these little grabbers for the 2x4s. So we can set these in here and make like a little cut station. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's 48. It's really it just looks wider. So this will be perfect for ripping sheets. I haven't used this one yet. This is the 102 inch track for ripping sheet goods long ways. So this is really convenient versus just pushing all these separately through a table saw multiple times. That was money well spent. That's like some of the best money I've ever spent on this track saw. It's crazy. Are those just chalk lines on the ceiling? Yeah, yeah, and those, right well, they're gonna get covered. See that board he's putting? We're gonna glue that up there. So, really? so you won't have any textured surface.
And anytime we're working with this hardboard stuff, we're always using staples because they're gonna have a better grab on this thinner material versus a brad nail or something. You shoot it and just rockets through it. And making these things loose fitting is a no brainer because there's no reason to make them tight. One, the panel molding is going to hide that seam. And it's going to hide all these staples as well. So now we have to do our notching for the fan vent and smoke alarm. And then it's the same thing. So we'll get that done and then we'll start on the crown. The crown's going to be easy, just four inside corners. And you can see it looks a lot better with that crown. It's going to look way better painted. The finger joint always looks kind of weird. But we got our crown in there. It's looking good. And we have our reveal from our 1x8. We got that at 5.5. So we're good there. It's the same 5.5 as these 1x6s that are out here. All right, so that's going to do it for today. We got most of the work done, most of the install done at least in the morning. I'm going to cut up all these panel moldings. They go inside each panel and get those glued and install those while John protects the floor. We'll put paper down here on the floor and plastic all around the room. But that should be it for today and we're going to call it good there. So that's going to do it for this video. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys on the next one, which will be installing the panel moldings and then prepping and painting this project. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.